What's going on guys? Today I want to show you guys how you can edit a talking head style video using a multi-cam sequence, meaning you're shooting from two different camera angles at the same time. I'm going to do this by syncing the audio inside of the free CapCut desktop app. First off, let's talk about the prerequisites that you need. You need to make sure that both of your cameras or phones are recording audio. Now when you're recording with a phone, it's pretty easy. Typically it will record audio as well, but when you're recording with a camera, you wanna make sure that you have high quality audio coming to your main camera. What I like to use is I like to use these Rode Wireless Go's. These are the Rode Wireless Go 2's. They also have the Pro's out now. And what I do is I go ahead and I put one of them on my camera and then I have the receiver and the receiver usually gets clipped on my collar like this and it's basically like a wireless lavalier mic and this is where I pick up my main audio. The reason why you wanna make sure that you have audio going to both of your cameras or all three of your cameras or however many cameras and phones you have set up is you want the software to be able to go ahead and see those spikes in the audio waveform and be able to sync the audio together because once it's syncing the audio, it will go ahead and sync the video along with it. Secondly, now that you have audio set up on all of your different camera angles, you wanna make sure that you make a loud noise a lot of times people will do a clap like that. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna cause a spike in the audio waveform and it's gonna make it a lot easier for the software to sync the audio. And let's just say the software has a hard time syncing the audio. You can always go in there manually and sync the audio yourself because you can also visually see that spike in the audio waveform. Now that we got that out of the way, why don't I jump into CapCut, show you guys how to edit these, and then I will show you the completed video once we're done. Okay, so I have my footage loaded into the CapCut desktop app. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna drop both of my clips down onto the timeline. Now that I have these down onto the timelines, these clips are different links. You know, you're gonna set up one phone or camera, you're gonna turn it on, you're gonna set up the second phone or camera, and you're gonna turn that on, and they are going to be different links based on um, you know, the duration of time that you had the actual camera recording for. So now that I have them here on my timeline, what I wanna do is I want to go ahead and highlight both of them. I'm gonna right click, and then I'm gonna go down here to where it says sync video to sound. As you can see here, literally took just a few seconds and it was able to sync these videos. So let's just go ahead and move the playhead here and play it back and just make sure that the video is synced. So does that hold true when buying a home? In this market, it is common to see buyers offering cash for homes in an effort to beat out the competing buyers who are usually using mortgage financing. So it looks like the audio on both clips is synced. I can't even tell that there is two sources of audio here. And now, as you can see here, um, this is my side angle shot. And if I was to go ahead and I was gonna show you just that bottom clip. This is gonna be my main clip. I always put my main clip at the bottom and then I kind of put that B shot or that second shot on the top. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to find where I want my video to start and I'm gonna cut these clips so that they are the same length. So I'll go ahead and cut this one here. And it's gonna cut wherever the playhead is. So I moved the playhead to where I wanted to cut it. I selected split and then I can go ahead and delete the part that I don't want. And this is gonna be where my video starts. I'm gonna move these back to the beginning. So I know my main audio is gonna be on the bottom clip, which is the main A clip here. So what I wanna do here, now that I have the audio synced, is I want to go ahead and remove the audio from the B clip or the, the audio that I'm not gonna be using from that secondary clip. Now what I can do is I can either go in now and I can turn the volume all the way down or I can do what I would typically do, which is I can go to the clip, right click, hit extract audio. It's not gonna move the audio clip down here for that B clip. I'm gonna delete it all together so it's no longer in the video. The only thing you can hear is the main audio. In this market, it is common to see buyers offering cash for homes in an effort to beat out. So that's just the main audio from my main A clip. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I am going to go ahead and I will make this first clip about as long as the second clip because I know that this is about how long my video is gonna be. It's just an Instagram reel, so it's gonna be a minute or less, and I'm gonna begin my edit. Okay, so I want my video 
to start off with the main A clip here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and hide the B clip for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and start watching it through. I'm gonna start making some cuts. And where I make the cuts is where I'm gonna overlay the actual B clip or the second angle. Now, the main reason why I actually even do a video style like this is because when you're doing a talking head style video and you make a mistake when you're talking to the camera and then you have to cut it, it looks to me a little bit more unprofessional when you just have a bunch of jump cuts in a professional video or a social media video that's designed to bring you in business as a real estate agent. I think it looks a little bit more professional when you cut to a second angle and then back to your main angle. It just kind of looks like you didn't even make a mistake. It looks like you just flawlessly said your line. You flawlessly recited your script when in all actuality, you probably made a mistake and you needed to make a cut. And instead of just cutting the main A angle, like if you move around, if you're really animated when you talk and you cut that main A angle a bunch of times and do jump cuts, you'll end up moving around on the video into different places you'll be moving right and then the next cut you might be in the center and the next cut you might be slightly uh, to the left in a different spot but if you do it this way and you have that second angle it's just going to look a lot more professional and a lot more smooth you're going to be able to cut straight to that b shot and right back to that a shot and it's going to look like it was just done flawlessly the second reason why you might want to use a second angle when you're doing an instagram reel is because it kind of keeps your audience more engaged there's more happening Sometimes I'll use the second angle or sometimes I'll use stock footage like story blocks and I'll lay that over my A and my B roll to again keep that audience engaged and keep people wanting to continue watching the video. And you know this video is only like a minute or less long but let's face it our attention spans as human beings are getting shorter and shorter and you have to go ahead and you have to make quicker cuts and you have to make videos more engaging if you want to keep your audience watching your video so let's go ahead and start this edit in this market it is common to see buyers offering cash for homes in an effort to beat out the competing buyers who are usually using mortgage financing but cash all right so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to lay some of my b-roll over the top of my a-roll here i think the quickest way to make a cut is to use keyboard shortcuts not to necessarily always use this split here and you can see here my keyboard shortcut for split is C if your keyboard shortcut for split is not C and you don't know what it is let's go over here to the top right where it says shortcuts when you click on that here are all of your keyboard shortcuts I use shortcut 5 if you use a, a different one it's going to show you what split is so here under shortcut 1 you can see that split is actually command B I like to make sure that split is just one key and so I like shortcut 5 split is just C and that's the one that I use. So I go ahead and go to my clip. Wherever I have this yellow line here, wherever my cursor is, when I select C, it's gonna go ahead and cut it there. And then I can go ahead and delete the part of the clip that I don't want. So I'm gonna go ahead, I just made one cut, and I'm gonna go ahead and make another quick cut here. So let me watch a little bit more. Mortgage, isn't it all the same to the sell it? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna select C here with that clip selected. And now this little clip right here is going to be my b-roll that it cuts to as I'm talking see so now I'll just make a couple more of these here are the major advantages of buying a home with cash number one there's no financing contingency so the seller doesn't have to worry about the financing falling apart prior to the closing number two okay so right where I say number two I'll probably go ahead and make another quick cut apart prior to the closing all right, so with the clip selected, I'll select C. A buyer can close much sooner since there's no need for mortgage processing. A typical mortgage takes 30 to 45 days to close, whereas cash deals will usually close in seven to 10 days. Okay, so right there where I say a typical mortgage, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make another quick cut. And I'll probably do like one more of these. You know, you just gotta play around with it. So I'm gonna scrub this timeline. You can see here, the video cuts from my main shot to my B shot, from my main shot to my B shot, from my main shot to my B shot. And I know some people, they like their B shot to be like black and white. So some people will do that. So if I was to go into adjustments over here, and then I was gonna drop the saturation, I can make it so that my B shot turns black and white. Financing, but cash or mortgage, isn't it all the same to the seller? 
Again, it's just about mixing it up to keep your audience engaged with the video. Other things I'll put into my videos is I'll always add captions. Sometimes I'll do overlays, like I'll make it like in, for instance, in this video, I can make it so potentially cash is falling across the front of the screen. And I usually will get those off of story blocks as well, along with all the stock footage. You know, sometimes I'll overlay it with stock footage and I can pick some trending audio from here. And of course we can add audio to the video again we just want to make a quick instagram reel informational for our clients these are videos you can make really quick sometimes i make five to ten of them at once i just keep doing wardrobe changes i sit down and i just knock a bunch of these out back to back then i just come in here edit them out really quick export them and then i can go ahead and schedule these to come out on specific days throughout the week i'm gonna go ahead and mess around with this a little bit more but here's the finished video now we've all heard the expression cash is king. So does that hold true when buying a home? In this market, it is common to see buyers offering cash for homes in an effort to beat out the competing buyers who are usually using mortgage financing. But cash or mortgage, isn't it all the same to the seller? Here are the major advantages of buying a home with cash. Number one, there's no financing contingency, so the seller doesn't have to worry about the financing falling apart prior to the closing. Number two, a buyer can close much sooner since there's no need for mortgage processing. A typical mortgage takes 30 to 45 days to close, whereas cash deals will usually close in seven to 10 days. Number three, there's no appraisal contingency, so the seller doesn't have to worry about having to renegotiate their price in the case an appraisal is low. That all being said, it is still possible to beat out a cash offer. If you're interested in finding out how, I'd love to chat. All right, I hope that you enjoyed that video. If you found it helpful, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see how I edit my podcast episodes using multi-cam sequences inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, I will go ahead and leave a link to that video in the description. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all on the next one.